Hello everybody, this is Mr. Tech Pens, Ronald Raphael. If you really want to know about connecting houses, I figure I was going to take out, yes, I took out the card of Chris de Berg. The card, what did he get? He got the Eight of Diamonds. It's the highest classified card in the whole deck. And if you take a look at the center, there's even a cross for Christ. Look at all those pipings all the way up and all the way to the bottom. This, my friends, is card number eight. And this is the way it works. First, we're going to show you the outside. This would be the top spot, looking like a six card. You have the three spots for the six. And on the other side, again, you got the three spots for the six. You have the one on each side, like I said, the three spots, and you have the one center for each one. This is a central piping system. This is an energy, they call this the energy of Christ. It comes right into here, and it powers three, and it powers one. At the same time, it powers and generates all the way down through until the exit. And you'll find this design around the roulette wheel. Like I said, everybody's got a number. So this number gets cut off in the corners. All the corners get cut. Don't you know the queen's got a tail? And she's got to shove her tail in every one of these corners to get electrified, okay, to create. That's the way she works, beta. That's why she's the Q. She's got a tail that plucks in here, and she was made by cutting off these corners. That's how they made the Q, by using the extra corners. You can also use these corners to create Mug and Dovids, the letter K, and an enormous other number of, excuse me, my cat is on my back. Okay, so they each have a number. So now this one, as you notice, is in the middle of the square. It's one half of the board. So we're going to read one half of this board and up, just like you would see in a card. Okay, just like you would see in a card. Okay, this point and up is one half of the card. This point and down is the other half. And the reason I'm saying it, it's not me who did it that way. But when you fold the card, it's the manufacturer who did it that way. Okay, so where is the point of that card? I play that point as being the half of the card. Okay, so what we're going to do is, it would be just like this, the card sitting right in here. This one is a five points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine on your telephone. The same thing. This, where it has a mark, it's either mark number four and mark number six for the reason that it counts for the middle world. These four areas is man's middle world, okay? We live three of the four, and that's the reason for the club, okay? We live three out of these four. This is the marble that goes back home. Okay, so we're always living the energy up and down. This is a return energy. Don't you see the line that always goes on the side of the card? It's a return energy. The, it returns into the universe. It returns back into who you are. So we live right here. Okay, so what the first count would be is one, three, five, which is nine, seven, and nine position, which would be 25. So I got 25 written here. The other one would be one, three, five, which is nine, and four and six makes 19, okay, which is over here. Now the funny thing about the, about the 25 and the 19 is if I multiply the 19 by three, it's 57. If I multiply the 25 by three, it's 75. It makes five, seven, seven, five. That's the Hebrew New Year's in two years from now. It's not only that, I've been talking about it for a long time. I've seen it in many, many, many places, okay? But if you go to the roulette table, I think it's the French roulette with the single zero, you will notice there's one board that says orphelin and orphelin. It means orphans. And the number count in those two squares of roulette, 5775, yes, October of 5775 to be more exact. Why I talk exact about some of these things? Because when I come up with something or I hear something, I get a feeling inside and it like zaps me. And it says, it says to me, you know, don't worry, you know, just say it. Even if you're wrong, it doesn't matter. So this is the eight card, okay? Now, if we flip this card upside down, it's the exact same card. And since it's a diamond, you can't tell which side it's on anyways, okay? So we count the two sides, 
and they come up to a total of 25 and 19 here, which is 44, and 25 and 19 here, which is 44. Number 44 means space, okay? That's what it just means. It just means space. So if you add the two 44s together, you get 88. And that's who we are, okay, without the three spirit, okay? So, um, so over here, if I just count this here in the center, it totals 52, 52 weeks, 52 white keys on a piano, 52 cards in a deck, two and five is the passage for breaking and entering on the beta world from the two black to the five red in the center of the roulette board. 52 S-I-X in words at six, Okay, totals 52. Heart, H-E-A-R-T, heart, 52. Earth, E-A-R-T-H, 52. The other way around is the quarter. Man is one quarter, and his number is 52. 25, 625 is right over here, because he's 52. It's basically the numbers they show you, because this is heaven's card. This is the way the game is played. You see the cross? And you know where this would be? This would be Mars, okay? This over here would be Saturn. Um, this over here would happen to be um, Venus, and this would be Neptune over here. Then in between would be Jupiter. So there's a chance that we're living in some kind of realm in a habitat near Jupiter in the constellation NGC 7286 constellation of Pegasus zoom in and out you'll say you'll see something there's an electronic world in there going on that's connected to ours so I've connected back all these pipes to all these worlds now I'm going to show you another thing you notice these are the only four boxes that have a box inside because this is the passage there's three two 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 there's eight around a total of nine. One, two, three, four. Four by nine is 36, creation of man. Four of man's nine lives all over here. Center energy. See all the center energy coming in? All the energy comes into there. Okay, and then it goes whoosh, back down there and back to the top. So this center point counts for 36, and that's the number on the roulette wheel of what you need because you need 21 and 15. 15 is the egg, and 21 is the you, the yolk in the egg. And that totals 36, those two letters. God put everything very, very closely knit together. But if this card was not a diamond eight, okay, in which I wasn't finishing to total that 88 and 52 is 140, Count the two eights on each side is 156, and then counts each singularity, 164. 164 is the one spirit of six and four, and that's what this whole card was all about, and that's what it adds up to in totality. The card is more than what it seems. So now if I had to count this in another suit, okay, I would get almost the same result. I'll get 25 and 19 on the top, but on the bottom, I'm only going to get nine because it's only one side. That's because man's only now worth his one quarter to the other cards. But in this card, the diamond is connected everywhere. She's got connections on the top and the bottom. Okay, and another way to look at this card, you see where it says five diamonds? Okay, that can also say every one of those diamonds are worth five. So there's five of them times five is 25. And you flip it around, five by five is 25. Whoosh, you got 50 on a 5, and that's why we pass through the E electronic world, the number 5 letter in the alphabet. I hope you understood this little demonstration of mine of all about the 8. The 8 does uh, just about uh, everything, and it shows you the passages. I mean, I'm not sure what else I have to show you more than this. And every card, I'm going to do every single card. If you like it, say I like it. Tell five friends. If you tell five friends, oh my God, I'm 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 ecstatic because five friends tell five friends, you know. And I'd be just ecstatic. I got to know to move on. Anyways, I'm never going to stop. Anyways, I always have something else to do. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. For those who think I'm wacky. Thank you very much, too. Hold on a second. What? You can't go through a video without seeing me. Listen. 
I was born on a farm. I went fishing in a bush, okay? And I seen and I heard things at a very young age that I didn't like. The people are starving all over the world. The people are starving. There's something wrong in this world and I wanted to see how I can fix it. Now by opening up my trap and saying something on here, you never know what's going to partake from here and so forth and on. They say never to give up. So although you might see that I'm going through all this, uh, what you can say is not in the right style, well, when I find the style, it'll mold to me and so will everybody else. Otherwise, I haven't found the style for me to fit everybody. Therefore, I'm not actually in yet until the mold fills the cracks. Take care, everybody. They call me Raphael. And am I shy? And she's that good looking? <gasps> oh, I shouldn't say that. That's not nice. Uh, no, I usually uh, am um, sort of maybe just a little bit. Hey, buddy! Come, look, where's he going now? You're on TV. You're going to be rich and famous. <laughs> <laughs> he likes when I do that. <laughs> ah, you're coming on camera. Yeah, that's you in the camera. <laughs> <laughs>